Hey everyone, it's Lisa from Dana August Nails. Welcome back to my channel. These are my niece's nails. You've seen them before. And so let's just jump into it. So I'm going to do a full prep. Um, and you know what? Just because I felt like it. Maybe you've seen this, maybe you haven't. She's got, as you can see, short bitten nails. So I'm just using the, um, the wood stick to push it back versus like the cuticle pusher. And you know, the whole video is like sped up times two. So it looks crazy fast, but um, I was super delicate. And then I took this, um, so there is a cuticle pusher on one end of this, but then this scraper is a flat bit. So I've, I preferred it for this job. And then I'm going in with my cone bit, as you know, and this is going to clean up that cuticle area just a bit more, but then also push back that skin. Um, so much of it is dried, so I want to get back at it. So I went in forward mode and reverse mode on that. And then I'm using this flame cone bit, which is like a little wider than the ones I normally use. And I'm using it in forward and backwards mode, as you saw. And obviously I've got to get rid of that cuticle. There's quite a bit of it that's hard. That's sorry for the blurry video. That's hard. That's just, it's, it's no good, no good at all. So um, I went ahead and cleansed the nails and I'm going to apply tips. So this is me going in with dehydrator and protein bond just on the free edge because I'm actually going to use um, base coat as you can see. So I've applied a bit of base coats after I etched the underside of that nail. I'm positioning it right where I need to position it and then I'm using this little um, lamp to just cure that in place. In future, I'm gonna just use uh, full on, like full cover tips or nail forms with the poly gel on there for her, just for more security. But yeah, I did that with all 10 of the nails and now I'm just, I've clipped them down quite low. We're going for a coffin and I'm just refining the shape. Even now, like I have not blended the wings of those nails. I want that extra support because she doesn't really have much that they're holding on to. Um, and then I do file just the tips from the perspective of the client. Cause like right now I'm setting up myself to not have that much filing to do and getting the shape correct right now. Um, and then after that, I go in with the sanding band to blend in those wings and also to really etch the surface of that, um, tip so that the poly gel has something to cling on to. Um, so yeah. We're just going to do that. And then we're going to apply some poly gel. You guys are going to see how I prep my brush just in case you haven't. It's just a matter of like decanting some base coat. Um, oh, I'm going in with protein bond after I've like cleansed the nail and, you know, dehydrate our protein bond, really just scraping that protein bond in, letting it dry. And then I'll go in with some base coat from, I think this is Burano because I'm running low on the Gershon. Running low, girl, you ain't got none. And I cure that for a 30 second. Please don't over cure your base coat. Like, I mean, like a 60 second cure will get it looking all cloudy. And I don't know how effective it is after that. But this is not a great base coat for me. It's from Young Nails. And I just use it to prep my poly gel brush. Like it's stiff, the bristles. I'm just loosening them up. And this is a Beatles gel um, poly gel that I got from, I think Slade by Val sent this to me. Um, and it's, a, oh, it's such a nice pink color number 90 and so I place that bead just under the cuticle and then I'm going up to the cuticle to the left of it down the left side wall keeping the product nice and thin but the bulk of it is in the center as you'll notice and every time you see me pull away my brush know that I'm coating it with base coat and then I'll just bring it down all the way to one side of the free edge and then I'll go back up to center cuticle, to the right cuticle, right side wall, all the way down to free edge. And then I'll just start to maneuver the bulk of that product to get the apex where I need to be. Once I'm satisfied, I put the finger in the lamp on low heat mode for about 60 seconds. I move on to the next hand. I go from finger to finger, but from hand to hand. And so, yeah, I do this to six of the nails. So I do it to the pointer, the index, and the ring finger. Um... Yeah. So you guys, I started putting vlogs. Well, I did one vlog video and it's a completely different vibe. You know, I am shopping for Christmas decorations or I had been for a long time. And I just decided to compile those videos, show you guys what I bought, show you what they look like on the tree. Ooh, by the way, these two colors, this is from Homost, an Amazon um, product. And this is the, uh, McCart. So what I'm actually trying to do, I'm going to put up the picture of the look that we're creating here is create this like jelly nail 
um, but I didn't have this poly gel on hand. I didn't have this glitter. I did have this glitter and that poly gel, which is a mica shimmer one. And then that clear poly gel from McCart. And I decided, okay, so we just going to make us a glitter, right? Because ordinarily you would make yourself a glitter acrylic powder. You'd make yourself a glitter gel. So I'm just making myself a glitter poly gel. And so this is what it looks like. And I apply that on the thumb and the pinky. So like I was saying, um, so I, I dropped a vlog video like a couple of days ago, right? While I was in Tampa, I said I dropped the video. Did a little haul of the Christmas decorations I found. Did a little DIY on some of them. Talked about some things. My daughter was in it and everything. And let me tell you how I guess some of y'all didn't like it. If this if it's not, if you're not the y'all and some of y'all, this is not for you. So please do not get yourself offended over it because it's, it's not for you. But if you are the y'all and y'all, and if, you know, maybe you're not because you're just not here no more. Because that's the point of what I'm saying. I lost four subscribers within the few hours that I posted it. I lost two and then I lost two more just recently checking. So I was like, okay, cool. People don't want to grow with me. But here is the nail video that I guess they were so pressed about. Anyways, let me tell y'all how I did not start YouTube to gain followers, to make money, to do any of the things that people may have started YouTube for and more power to them. I started this so that I can have a free place for re to store my progress in chronological order, people. So I'm, I've, 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 I will, well, I've grown as a person and I've always loved DIY and I've always loved thrifting. So I am launching a vlog. It's going to be of the things that I do around my island, the things that I like to do. It's going to maybe even showcase some stuff about nails, but it's my channel, Dana August Nails, and I will put on it what I see fit. And if you, and if you're the you in this you, then you know I'm talking to you. And if you're not, this has nothing to do with you. If you don't want to be here for that, I will see you not at all. So that's just all I wanted to say, but I will be sharing more here with you. The vlogs will be consistent of me shopping, alternative shopping, traditional things, customs and cultures about my island, landscape, what I'm eating, getting ready with me to go places. It will just be a vlog. And if I'm able, you'll get a video every week. But as of right now, I have so many Christmas haul videos that I will be posting on my channel. Hear that people, my channel. And the people that are for it will be for it and the people that aren't, aren't. So I just thought I'd say that because like, yeah. So as y'all saw, I cured, I capsulated the glitter. A lot of good that did because I basically filed all of it off, which, you know, it wasn't even that big of a deal because I just did a thin, a thick coat of top coat and like it wasn't like the surface was bumpy or anything. And then I cleansed the nail and I'm going in with this bit that I got from AliExpress, believe it or not. And it's a safety bit. It's a carbide five in one, you know, the thinner um, part of it is to the top. And then as it gets further to the center and the end, the coarser bits. And I just go around the cuticle area contour a bit um and i i i debulk and so now i'm using my file to further seal that cuticle area make it nice and flush to the nail as you can see i'm using my two fingers to pull the skin back not in a sense it's painful but in a way for it to not get the file not to get at her so i do the cuticle i do the side walls and then as you as you see i turn my file flat and then i just run it up and down the surface of the nail you know, just to make sure I got the shape that I'm looking for. And I just continue to contour and then I dust and then I flip the nail over. I contour a bit more and then I shape the free edge from the client's perspective. Client, this is my niece and no, she did not pay me, but she's a really great babysitter. So yeah, we didn't really like the color of the, you know, the, the pale pink. So we did take a bit of this color here, which I think is a young nails color. And I just watered it down and I put a little, little wash of sort, a little pink wash on there. Now this white, give me a second. Let me think about what the, oh, ooh, ooh, I know what this white is. This white is Madame Glam's perfect white. And it is indeed a perfect white, let me tell you. And Born Pretty's stamping gel, which was just a little on the uh, ivory side. 
not really ivory, but I liked, I mixed them both because I love the consistency of what the two of them are like. You guys were here when I used to mix the Model 1's solid cream gel with a bit of polish. It's the same thing. I was looking for a consistency. And I took this little brush from AliExpress after having painstakingly drawn that French. Ooh, I hate a French. They look good, but geez, I can't stand drawing them. And then I just drew the French and then I started filling it in. And I used the same mix of stamping gel and perfect white. And I just, the whole artwork, it's just, it's of that. So we're going for the classic dots. Why? Because we're doing some snow, uh, snow flakes. No, we're doing some snow flakes, honey. And I don't know if you were there for the Christmas nail debacle of 2020 whatever the year that was, 2020 or 2021, when I did a bunch of Christmas videos that nobody asked me for. And one of them was such a hot mess of a snowflake, but we shall redeem ourselves, honey. So I did the dots. And then I'm just taking this little, this this micro detailer brush from Mareka, you know, YouTube, not YouTube, sorry, Amazon. I'm just pulling through. And so once that's done, I set a bit of rhinestone gel because you know what? We needed some rhinestones on here. The picture had rhinestones. So on the French nail, the, the, the one that was giving me all the problems, I put this, I forgot what they're called, pearly gemstone looking, you know, whatever. And then in an AB crystal, you know, is that rose? Was that was, could that be considered rose quartz or something? Cause you know, and then I cure those and I top coat those. And let me just tell you, I'm going nail to nail. Like it's just, ugh, it's just, it was a lot. This freaking candy striper nail or, or can, whatever it's called. May we be done with this all together. That's all I have to say about it. I have one other Christmas nail design and it kind of looks just like this, but like in black and I do it on full cover tips. I will post that and that'll just be me done for Christmas. Okay. So I drew these lines and I'm filling them in. Oh, ciao. Oh, listen to me. Oh, all this work and she don't pay me. But like I said, she's she loves my kids, especially the baby. And the baby is the hardest of the hard right now because, you know, he's a little unwell. And she just, you know, she's such a sweet girl. So I did her nails. I did do that. So now we have a sweater nail. Oh, child, please. Done to the death of me, sweater nails. But here we go. This was the least... This was the nail, this was the set I hated the least, to be fair, to have to recreate. Um, I need to get back to my more imaginative state because um, I've been doing a lot of recreations and some of them have been really good. So I drew this sweater thing, right? Did the whole painting and then I'm coming in with this glitter. Can I tell you where I got this glitter from? I couldn't tell you. Anywhere between sets and, and, and you know, um, not polish. Cured that in there and dusted it off and here we are finished product so you guys you know there's not going to be a product list i love y'all who hang who who stuck in there with me i love y'all and i will see y'all in the next one next vlog video too bye